गाइस वेलकम बैक टू दिस चैनल इफ यू न्यू देम वेलकम टू दिस चैनल वेल आई एम बैक विद वन मोर इंटरेस्टिंग पाइथन एक्सरसाइज एंड दिस इज ऑल अबाउट सेल्स टैक्स कैलकुलेटर इन पाइथन सो हियर वी आर गोइंग टू बिल्ड अ सेल्स टैक्स कैलकुलेटर यूजिंग पाइथन एंड दिस विल बी रियली इंटरेस्टिंग वेल लेट एस सी व्हाट इज सेल्स टैक्स Sales tax is actually a type of consumption tax which you pay to the seller when you buy anything. Like if you are buying a product from the seller, so you have to pay some tax even to the person. So that is nothing but the tax that you are paying to the seller when you are buying something is actually the sales tax. So here we have different taxes like we have wholesale tax, manufacturer, retail sales, gross receipts, use tax, value added tax, pay tax, turnover tax, and there are many other taxes. okay and so let us see how to calculate the sales tax so if you see here we took an example so that you guys can understand how to calculate the sales tax and gross price so if you see here um the tax actually differs from country to country it depends upon each and every country sometimes the country's tax will be 7% sometimes it will be 5% it depends so let us just imagine the tax of the country is 7% for now so what you'll do you will find the net price of a product like for example just imagine the price of the product is 75 this is not the exact price this is just we are imagining let us imagine the price of the product is 75 the very next step is you have to multiply the net price by 7% that means 7% is nothing but 0.07 which is 75 into 0.07 will be 5.25 so this is actually the sales tax that we are getting first what we are doing we are getting the price of the product then we are getting the tax we are multiplying the tax with the price so that we can get the sales tax so this is actually sales tax guys and finally you are going to add the sales tax to the net price like 75 plus 5.25 so the product price plus sales tax will be 80.25 this will be the entire gross price that we can say so for calculating the sales tax and gross price what we need first we need the tax which has been implemented by the country it differs so let us imagine it 7% then we need the price of the product this must be anything like right now it's 75 it might depends upon the product price as well so here we, this is just an example so here we took 75 and what we are doing we are multiplying the 7% with the product so that we can get the sales tax so here we are getting the sales tax once we got the sales tax we are adding it to the original price of the product which is 75 and this will be the entire price of the product that you will be paying while buying so this is really an interesting example so let's write code according to these interesting steps So let us open our favorite interesting coding editor for me VS Code. So let me open it. So this is actually the sales tax, right? So here, if you see, so first we need the country tax. So let us get the tax of the country. For example, it is seven percent, right? So what we'll do? We'll give country tax here. So this is actually getting country tax. so getting the country tax so we'll give variable name country tax so just give country tax equal to float we need the input in float so we'll give input and we'll ask the user to enter the country tax so just give enter the country tax the reason that we are specifying here as country tax because it depends upon the country as well so after this we'll get product price so just give product product price so here this will be product price and also this time we'll again ask user to enter the product price because we don't know It depends upon the product as well. So, enter the product price. Once we get it, it's time to get 
tax value that means how are we going to get the tax value here it is actually 7% right so if the country tax is 7 7% then we want it to get divided by 100 right so what we'll do is we'll give tax value tax value equal to country tax by 100 because we are multiplying 75 with 7 percent which is 7 by 100 right so that's what here we are doing and now it's time to calculate the sales tax how are we going to calculate the sales tax by adding this tax value with the product price which is this so if you multiply these two parameters we are going to get sales tax so just give calculating sales tax and that's it and here you are going to create a variable called sales tax and this will be tax value into product price and that's it this time you are going to get the sales tax once we got the sales tax we also have to calculate the gross price right so how are we going to get that we are going to add the product price with sales tax so that we can get the entire gross price so that's what here we are going to do Let's just give calculating gross price and now just give gross price equal to product price plus sales tax and that's it now it's time to print the result so just give Just give something like this and then we'll print the product price first. So just give print product price is let's give it in dollars. So just give dollars and we'll also format it. up to two digits and then we'll give dot format since we are formatting the product price so just give product price here and that's it and let me copy this entire thing and here instead of product price we'll add tax and this will be the tax or tax value and we'll give sales tax as well This will be the sales tax and then let's give gross price and here if you see I have to give input now I guess everything is perfect and if you run this one Okay, let's rerun it. Enter the country tax 7 and enter the product price, for example, 75 as in the example. So the result is the product price is $75 and taxes, tax must be must not be in dollars actually because these are in percentages. So let me change this one and the gross price is 
okay it's working but I have to delete for taxes dollar that's the only change that I have and if you rerun and this time we'll give 5% as country tax and enter the product price for example 50 and the result will be the tax is 0 0.05 sales tax will be 2.50 because we are adding 50 with 0 dot, multiplying 50 with 0 0.05 and the gross will be 52.50 yeah it's working so this is really an interesting exercise i hope you guys understand and learn something new from here and i'll be back with one more interesting exercise in the next video if you like the video hit that cute little like button and if you are new to this channel and if you saw this video and if you still didn't subscribe to this channel just go and tap the red button see you in the next video